today's lesson, we're going to be looking at how a computer works and the difference between hardware and software because for some of you guys, it is your first time using a computer, right? Yes. So read with me on the screen. Uh, if you guys can't see, I'll just quickly switch off the light. Right. In this module, we give a quick starter pack to teach you the basics you need to get going. After all, you are able to switch the computer on, aren't you? Right. We will return to many of these concepts because many of them only make sense once we have worked a bit. And I say this a lot about computers. If you haven't used a computer, most of the theory doesn't make sense. But as time goes by and you get used to using it, it's like riding a bike. It becomes easier and then it becomes um, a natural habit. Okay. Right. Follow with me on the slide, guys. How many of you guys do have access to a computer outside of the school? Right. For you guys who have access outside of the school, can you tell me, in a very simple way, basic instructions or, or explanation of how a computer actually works? I saw three hands. Yes, it can. Yeah, so a computer, a computer basically works when you turn the power on, the power runs through the software of the computer. You're going to your, through your motherboard and your motherboard is sending visual things to the screen and then from the screen you can work on the, on the thing you need to do. On the thing. Perfect. That's a perfect explanation. A simple explanation, however, is this. Computers take input, like you said, you switch it on, usually from the keyboard or a mouse or even the power button from the tower, right? They do something to process it, like you said, the motherboard, the processing unit, and the rest. And then they produce some form of output, usually on the screen. screen. Um, you guys have screens in front of you, it tends to like something. But, yeah. And then often the input or output needs to be stored, just like the instructions that we have on the computer. Right. There are two critical components of a computer system. Can anyone guess what those critical components are? There's a reason why the picture is blurred. It's because you need to guess what it is. Yes? Motherboard and processor. Kind of. Yes. The motherboard, we will consider hardware and the processor software. The two critical components of a computer is the hardware and the software of a computer. Anyone know what hardware is and what software is? The difference between the two. Take a while to guess. What a guess. It's in the word. Yes, it is. Yes. Software is the things inside of a computer box. And the hardware is like your screen, your mouse. And no, no, right. Software is like your program. <laughs> so, software is like the programs and stuff on the computer. And the things you can't see. Okay? And then the hardware is actually where you are the computer, the mouse, the screen. Of the I like to call it the eggshell versus the egg yolk. Right, if you take an egg, the outside part, the hard part, yes. the eggshell, that's our hard way. You can see it, you can touch it, you can feel it. But if you shake the egg, you can hear the, the, the soft part, the yolk. So the hard way, the eggshell, is the physical parts of a computer that we can see and touch. For instance, in front of me, you guys have a keyboard. Right, you can see it, you can feel it, you can touch it, and you use it. You have a mouse, you've got your screen, this is all hardware, right? Examples of these, like I just said, would include mouse, keyboard, screen, and different components inside the computer. Components inside the computer would be like this over here. This is your motherboard. You guys can pass it around and have a look while we continue. That is also considered hardware. Now, the yoke, the software. To actually get the computer to do something, we need to give it very specific instructions. These instructions are what we know as programs or software, as Etienne just said. Software is usually stored on a CD, but can be downloaded from online platforms and or stored on disk drives. Examples of software would be your WhatsApp, your social networks, Windows 8, by which your computer can't work without, and Excel and 
Word, all those typing applications that you guys have, programmed, and the likes. Right, in that short lesson, I have told you guys all that you need to know for today's lesson. Your hardware and your software. What's the difference? It's your egg and your yolk. Right, before I end the lesson, can any of you tell me, like I said in the beginning, how a computer works? Simple instruction for how a computer works. Yes, it is. Yeah. The computer works with an with input. Yes. Okay, then it processes the information, everything it gives it, and then it sends out to uh, that output and storage. Output and storage. Perfect. Right, your homework for today. Uh, activity 1.1 in your textbooks, page 4. And the due date for that, obviously, is tomorrow, the 17th. And the reason for homework, I like to give students a reason for why they have to do homework, otherwise they don't want to do it. It is so that you guys can apply the knowledge and understanding which you got in today's lesson. And then, I need to see your ability to differentiate between hardware and software. So you need to be able to explain to me that hardware is the physical part that you can see, and software is that which you can't see, like the yoke. Don't forget to pick. And to assess your ability to differentiate between input, output, and then explain what processing and storage is. Right, you guys can get your work. Please be effective and efficient in your working. And remember, noise is only noise if it's not productive. So you guys can talk if you're helping each other, but please don't talk about what you're going to do after school.